Hey, it's Margie with the Asking Spot, and this go round, I have been asked to give a little conservation restoration work. It's a mask. mask. Yep, this is the piece. Now, it doesn't look too bad when you first look at it, but then in a closer inspection, you do start to see where there are some definite nicks and uh, cracks a little along the side there. So my goal is to get those cleaned up, but not perfectly restored. And then we're also gonna try to conserve this piece so it doesn't get any further damage. Now there's a little bit of a nick on the back. I'm gonna use some wood glue and a paintbrush. One of these days I do have to get a syringe because I think that would make a better way of getting into the spot. But as I only have a lot of paintbrushes on hand, that's what I'm gonna use. Now clamping it, um, like I said, this wood mars really easily. So I'm actually just gonna use painter tape to hold it down. And while I do wanna make sure I get lots of wood glue in there, I don't want lots of glue on the outside. So I'm gonna quickly wipe out whatever drips out of it. You know, usually woodworkers are always like, you know you have enough glue, if when you squeeze it, clamp it shut, wood comes out. Have you been drinking? That's true, but it can be really damaging if you're trying to remove it from such a fragile, gentle, old piece as this. So, Speaking of. Not knowing whether this is an antique. This is an ancient historical artifact. It's like for real, for real, or if it's just a nice replica. Either way, I do know that this is a very light, very fragile, very dry wood. So I'm gonna have to be very careful. Um, I'm gonna just clean it with a bit of water on a lint-free cloth and see how I do. But whatever I try, first, I'm gonna test it in the back of the piece, just to remain on the inconspicuous side. It was at this stage in the game that I saw a little bug. I believe one of those wood destroying bugs that are bad for antiques. Yeah, so I switched my cleaning technique and I went ahead for something stronger. This time it's a mixture of vinegar and water with about a cap full of uh, peppermint extract, which I could use tea tree oil. If that's what you have on hand, that works as well. Um, this actually is a pretty good counter cleaner, providing you don't have like, you know, polished marble or granite cleaners because it does take polish off, so not good there. But otherwise, they're great. And it worked perfectly for this. The other key elements to making sure that you are protecting your wood from wood destroying insects when they're antiques and stuff is not only doing this cleaning method that should hopefully kill off the little buggies, but when you seal it up, which I will in the end with a wax, when you completely seal it up and then keep it in a relatively cool location, your home, um, you shouldn't have any problems with any other bugs. So that's the game plan. Now, I didn't want to take everything off and start all over again. This is more of a restoration or conservation of this piece. So when I started looking into how they actually made these masks, because I couldn't find anything particular to this mask, but in general, I noticed that they used black shoe polish. Wait, what? And I guess that makes sense. You know, that's got your darker stain in it and the wax at the same time. Now I could run out and buy just that. However, I'll shine your shoes. Yeah, we don't have the fanciest shoes around here. So the likelihood of it getting used again, and then I'm not so sure that it would be something that would be durable enough to put, say, on a piece of furniture. I wouldn't have use for what I didn't use for this small piece. So instead, I went out and got one of these touch-up stain markers. I got it in ebony and that should work for getting the color covered on places where it has nicks. And then I am going to use a little bit of my usual furniture wax to top coat it and that should do it.
Before we look at the final results, which admittedly aren't drastically different than what we started with because this was more of a conservation sort of restoration work, but let's take a look again where we started. And if you could, please click subscribe, give a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and I thank you so much. And now the final results. Um, it is already in the hands of the recipient and uh, they love it the client for this was really really super happy and um, i was a little reluctant to tell them about the bugs but they were also very relieved that it's been treated and it's safe now for being in their home too so there you go thanks so much for watching the asking spot guy blooper is next and i uh, look forward to talking to you again as i don't actually know <laughs> this is too short a little capful of vanilla extract or vanilla essence if you have either one of those that should work Not vanilla ah! have you been drinking I, with, I did make sure that it was tap water that was on the warm side um, swayed it on so, <laughs> this piece so let's just show you again how it looked like what we looked like